So, Violent Night, Violent Night, ladies and gentlemen, Violent Night. Are you going to sing the song? Violent Night. Brutal Night. And a bunch of more really great lyrics. <laughs> yeah. Sang by John Leguizamo. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So, this movie came out 2022. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Directed by Tommy Wercola. Which I'm I not, love Wercola. I love Tommy Wercola. I'm Wercola. not familiar with him, but then when I looked at all of his shit, I was like, oh, he did I am familiar Hansel with and Gretel him. Witch Hunters, which I haven't seen, but I heard was really good. Oh, man. Uh, but then I see, really like, good. Dead Snow 2. Yeah, I did then I see Dead What Snows. Happened to Monday, which sounds really interesting, so I want to mm -hmm. check that out. Anyway, so getting back to that. So he's the director for the movie that's written by Pat Casey and Josh Miller. Yep. Okay. Then it is starring... Actually, I'm going to go to the cast because they always give us the names. We've got David Harbour as Santa Claus or Nicomand the Red. Mm. <clears throat> we'll explain a little bit more of that in a little bit. It's intriguing. We've got John Leguizamo, or Leguizamo, I don't know why I say I, that, I, I, I as know. Jimmy. I always add some extra vowels. Mr. Scrooge Martinez. Excuse me. Yes. Oh, Alex, we got it too. Good. Yeah. We're all gassy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Alex Hassel as Jason Lightstone, mm -hmm. Gertrude's son, who is considered her favorite. <laughs> Birdie. Yep. Alex Alexis Louder is Linda Matthews, Jason's estranged wife, and an engineer who is forced to spend the holidays at the house so that the couple's daughter can have a nice Christmas and has been accused of being a gold digger by Jason's family. Yes. We've got Edie Patterson as Alva Lightstone, Gertrude's hard-drinking daughter, who wants to take over the family business as CEO over her brother. Now, we were talking about it, and we were like, oh, what have I seen her in, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, she wasn't who I was thinking of, the girl from Saturday Night Live, but uh, she was uh, in The Righteous Gemstones with okay. John Goodman. Still haven't seen that one. And she was in Knives Out. I did watch that, but I don't recall I her in that. I didn't see that one, but I've heard it's really good. It's really good. We've got uh, Cam Gigandet as Morgan Steele, Ooh. Alva's boyfriend and wannabe action star filmmaker yep. who wants Gertrude to be the benefactor of his next movie. He was hilarious. Yeah, that was his gift to her. <laughs> yeah, his gift to her was a script Yeah, and the basically opportunity to a buy price tag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leah Brett Brady as Trudy Lightstone, the daughter of Jason and Linda. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, Trudy doesn't go by Gertrude. No. And I've been toying with whether or not I should take bets on if I call your mother Gertrude or not. <laughs> hey, I was watching a movie. Uh, the girl's name is Trudy. No. It turns out it's short for Gertrude. No. This is how I would do it. Yeah. Oh, hey, Gertrude. And then watch as she like breaks my neck in the hug. Look down. So then we've got this one shocked me. Beverly D'Angelo. Yeah, that was great. Playing Gertrude Lightstone, the foul mouthed matriarch who heads the family corporation and make makes her kids fight for her love and money. Mm -hmm. First of all, just her being in the movie yeah. was like, oh shit. Yep. And then the fact that she's playing a horrible fucking person. Yeah. She's so fucking brutal, spoiler alert. When she finds out her son stole the money. She was like... She's proud of him. Fucking rights, man. Like She's proud. I mean, I, your grandfather, he was the head of this company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I fucked him over to get this company. Woo! <laughs> you are my favorite. Yep. All right, okay. We've got Brendan Fletcher as Krampus, Mr. Scrooge's lead henchman. Andre Erickson as Gingerbread, mm -hmm. Mr. Scrooge's henchman who poses as Gertrude's butler. Yep. Okay. Alexander Elliott as Bertrude, Bert Lightstone, Alva's teenage influencer son from her first marriage, and he's a fucking piece of shit. When he got punched in the face, I was oh, yeah, like, I was, Woo! I was very yes! happy he got punched in the face. I did like how at the end, he changed. He did. I thought that was good, because I wanted to punch him so badly. He did. He changed. Mike DuPond as Commander Thorpe, or DuPod. Dopod? Anyway. The guy that looked like Nolan. Yeah, the guy that we thought was Nolan, Nolan North. North. Yeah. I was like, is that Nolan North? It sounds like Nolan North. Kind of looks like him. Like he looks a little older. 
a makeup can yep. do that. The leader of Gertrude's Kill Squad, who in a Die Hard 2 roundabout way was actually secretly in league with Mr. Scrooge, John Leguizamo. Naturally. Mitra Suri as Candy Cane, a mercenary working for Scrooge. Mm -hmm. Stephanie Sly as Sugar Plum, also a mercenary working for Mr. Scrooge. Sugar Plum. Uh, Sean Skeen as a... He doesn't even get a name. Oh, so he's already working for Mr. Scrooge. He posed as the lead bodyguard. Oh. But they put him before Kane Aiden, who played Frosty. He got a name. Yeah, he got a name. He was the one in All in White. Hence, Frosty. Wow. Crazy. A mercenary working for Mr. Scrooge. We've got Charlie Yun as Techie, the hacker. Work, His name is just Techie. Working for Mr. Scrooge. Oh. And Fong Jang as Tinsel, a mercenary working for Mr. Scrooge. For Mr. Scrooge. And finally, we've got Eric Athavale. Who is he? Is he the guy at the at the fucking at the, at the gate? That's fucking Richard. Richard. Richard the guy at the gate. Yeah, I love that guy. The guy at the gate. Then he died. Okay. All right. So budget twenty five million. Current box office has it at forty five point one. It's good. So make some cash. Hey. It's up against big competition right now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's in between Black Panther and Avatar, so... The fact that it broke even... Yeah. ...and then made money on top of that, good enough for me. Yeah. I'm happy. I was I was scared it was going to be a bomb, and if it was a bomb, then I'd be like, uh, you know, David Harbour is pretty much done as a leading man in movies. Yep. Yeah. Uh, before we go any further, though, uh, I got a couple of critical receptions. Interesting. So... <laughs> The review aggregator website, Rotten Tomatoes, oh. said critics did not find the film as, in quotation marks, wildly entertaining as its concept might suggest, but that it may be enjoyable for those seeking harder-edged holiday fare. They assessed that 71% of 175 critics' reviews are positive, which is interesting because mm -hmm. that's a good percentage. That's a good percentage. Six out of three, 6.3 out of 10. Metacritic sampled, and they are looking at 36 reviews, 20 positive, 11 mixed, 5 negative. That's they gave them 56 out of 100. But that's enough of that. Yeah. So. So we've uh, concluded that critics are stupid. Yeah. So now, the story. An elite team of mercenaries break into a family compound on Christmas Eve, taking everyone hostage. However... They are not prepared for a surprise combatant. Santa Claus is on the grounds, and he is about to show why this Nick is no saint. <laughs> How could I not write that shit down? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this Nick is no saint. I was like, fuck, man, that's fuck, man. Okay, all right. So That's good. I don't know if you guys I, can tell. Synopsis. I don't know if you guys can tell, but... We really like this movie. Oh, yeah. We had so much fun watching this. We saw this on opening weekend. Yeah. The Sunday. Yeah. Sunday matinee. <laughs> There's also like three other people in there. Yeah, it was great. I watched yeah. the movie in the theater without yeah. wearing a mask. Yeah. It was awesome. It was wonderful. We walked in not wearing a mask. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We walked out. I did. No, I don't even think I walked no. out wearing a mask. That's right. Because matinees, matinees are beautiful. Although I will say, though, I have a little gripe with you. Oh. You leave your garbage in the theater, man. Oh, those poor kids I, have to clean up. I always up. do. Well, I took your garbage out for you. Oh well, thanks. Don't don't fucking thank me. You can thank me by never doing that again. At least when you're with me. It will happen again. I know. I know. It will. Okay. So it's in me, I right out of the it. gates, within the first like five minutes of this movie, I was already like, I like okay. When I saw the trailers, mm -hmm. uh, the trailers made it look more like John Wick meets. Die Hard with Christmas. Yes. Okay? So I was thinking that he was going to be like John Wick. Like his fighting was going to be like John Wick. Yeah. So when he starts getting his ass kicked in the beginning, I was like, oh, I don't know about this, right? But um, it opens with him drinking his face off in the fucking bar. Yeah. And immediately I was like, oh, shit, this is going to be good. Like, like I liked the part where she's like, oh, there's Santa Claus. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. You know, and he's like, yeah, yeah blah. And then he starts like literally going like, no, <laughs> you're, what's her face? And you wanted this and you yeah. know, and this. And she's like, 
how did you know? And then she's like, no, you can't go up there. That's the roof. How did you go up? And I was like, that's actually really cool. Yeah. And then he got sick and puked on her. I was like, oh, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> and it's a chunky puke on her face. Oh, yeah. Like, it's not like yeah. a scene cut puke. No. He pukes and it shows it splatting on her face. Yeah. That part, honestly, I didn't need that. No. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. It was, it was pretty gross. Showed you what kind of Santa he was. It was pretty gross, but it was fucking funny. Yes. And I was like, okay, what a way to start the movie. Yep. And already I was like, ah. Like, the trailers, I knew I was going to like this movie. Yeah. But I didn't, I actually was looking at it more like, this is probably going to be one of those, it's so bad, it's good type of things. But this is great. Oh, yeah. Like, this is great. This like, is so good. This is literally a mix of Die Hard 1 and 2. And Home Alone mm -hmm. and Santa Claus. Yep. With heavy mythology on Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. Heavy mythology. Yeah. But, fuck, man, this is awesome. The Home Alone aspects were fantastic. It was so funny. If you've ever watched Home Alone, you went, oh, man, those guys would totally die. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do. They, they do. It's, yeah. Well, the fucking, uh, like, when they she did the shit, like, going into the attic, right? Yeah. And I was like... Even I was like, oh, okay, all right. And then, uh, like, because you see the nail, and you're like, this is, okay, so this is dumb. And then the one fucking rung is cut. Yeah. And he breaks. Oh. And then chin, like, right onto the, <laughs> the nail. nail. right in his mouth. Then I was like, oh, okay, okay, all right, all right, you win. Yeah. You got me. Yeah. You got me. The only time it got a little slapsticky was the fucking bowling balls. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the only... But even then, I was like... The guy's like this with the, the nail? <laughs> that part, I was like, get the fuck out. But I, <laughs> but by the time you get to that part, yeah. like you're already like... You're either loving it or you're hating it. Yeah. So anything after that, like once you get to that part, it's either you're going like, <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Of course he gets the fucking nail in the eye because of that. Yeah. You know? Uh, <laughs> or you're like, fucking stupid. But at that point, I'd be like, then why are you watching this? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Like, when I said to Michelle, it's like, that's kind of like John Wick meets Santa. And she's like, yeah, I don't want to see that in theater. I was like, okay, cool. You're fine if I go see it with Ken? She's like, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, after watching it, do you think she would like it? Because uh, it's not like John Wick. I, you know what? I don't know. I'm going to, like, I'll run it by her. And just say, like, I know, like, I kind of oversold it with John Wick. It's not really kind of John mm -hmm. Wick, but it's it's kind of like Die Hard 1 and 2 with, you know, I'll say, like, just like yep. Die Hard 1 and 2, Home Alone, and, and Santa Claus mythology all wrapped up. And, and it's it's pretty brutal. I should probably still not want to watch it, mm -hmm. but uh, but either way, oh, man, <laughs> this story is fucking great. Yeah, I'll probably get Adrian to watch it once. But if she I'll hates it and never see. wants to watch it again, I'll then see, but regardless, this is something I'm going to watch every year. The only <laughs> thing that I was a little leery about towards the end of the movie was I was worried that it was going to be... It starts off kind of cynical. Yeah. And I was worried that that cynicism was going to carry out to the rest of the movie. Even though, like, half at the halfway point, you know, and he's, like, talking with, the, with Trudy, you know, and you're like... Oh, he started to like kind of melt, if you will, to mm -hmm. borrow a pun. It's frosted up hard is melting, right? <clears throat> so you're kind of like, okay, well, like, because there's hard in this. So it's not yeah. like, ah, fuck people, fuck the world, yada, yeah. yada, yada. It is definitely like that, where he's yeah. definitely like, I don't give a shit anymore. He's burnt out. Like, fuck all you And all I mean, if you look at the shit. real world, you would understand why a real Santa would be burnt out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Nobody gives a fuck about Christmas yeah. anymore. It's just all about money and presents and gimme 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 that kind of shit mm -hmm. and i was kind of worried that i i was worried that they were going to lean so much into that that by the time the end of the movie hit i also thought he was going to die he doesn't spoiler alert but i thought he was going to well, he does but he comes back <laughs> well yeah he does he spoiler, does spoiler, he does spoiler, die he does spoiler, spoiler. but christmas spirit brings him back yes which i was like all right yeah yes because <laughs> at first like because i said that to you i was like okay so he dies Son takes over as Santa Claus, and then like the daughter helps him. Yeah. You know, they get back together. But I'm glad it didn't go that route. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that he uh, he came back. Yeah. Um, because she made him believe that Christmas matters. That 
Santa matters. Mm-hmm. But I thought that was a nice line. He's like, you, you, nice. you made me believe that Christmas mattered, that I mattered. And I was like, oh, oh. Now, of course, I'm skipping ahead to the end of it, but uh, you have to understand, like, like I said, I was going into the single year. I hope it's not too heavy handed with the cynicism. Yeah. But it was, was the perfect blend. Like, it was heavy right at the first five minutes. Yep. Yeah. But it slowly starts stapling out. Like, I actually li- like the part where like they start taking over and Santa's like, fuck! I gotta get out of here! Yeah. I don't want a part of this! Fuck this shit! And then yeah. 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 Fuck off! It's like... <laughs> He's like, fuck you! Are you fucking kidding me? It's <laughs> bullshit! Because he passed out. That's right. He, he passed out. Because he drink, dumped out. the milk and he... <laughs> It's a whiskey or whatever it was. Whatever the fuck, yeah. that dark, Brandy. dark liquor. Yeah, he's just eating sugar cookies. <laughs> That's a horrible mix, too. Straight liquor and cookies? Yeah. Oof. I love cookies. Like, yeah. Cookies are probably one of my big weaknesses. Yeah. I don't really have them in the house that much because... No. Oh. I would eat the whole pack. But, man, yeah. this is just fucking great. But, like, so, you know, obviously, he, he fights Frosty, and they have, like, a pretty even back and forth. Mm-hmm. But... There was enough of fighting from Santa that I was like, what the fuck did he do? <laughs> right? You know? like, like, he was wow. getting his ass handed to him, but when he was defending himself, he was doing it in a way where it wasn't just like blind throws. Yeah, like he knew like, what he was doing. Yeah. You know, it may not have been like Krav Maga like style martial arts, but he, he could take a hit, mm-hmm. repeated hits. You know, like they do play up the magic, but they don't, it's not like he's all powerful. Yeah. Right? But you definitely could take a fucking beating. Yeah. For oh, sure. Yeah. But, uh... Oh. Just the little things they did. Like, just the fact that they actually give you flashbacks of him being a Viking. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I said... And not just, like, a good Viking. Like, he had a hammer called Skull Crusher. His name was Nicomund the Red. Because of all the blood that he <laughs> fucking spilled. Yeah. And... Somehow this guy became Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so, it can you know, we're kind of like, oh, geez, what's going on? When he took off his jacket and he had all those fucking Norse tattoos. That was badass. I was like, Jesus <laughs> Christ, what's <laughs> happening here? Like, what has he done to get those tattoos? Yeah. And they they give you the Viking thing and you're like, oh, fuck. And they give you the quick glimpse of him in that, with that thing. I love when he's reminiscing. He's like, oh, Skull Crusher. Oh, the things uh, we did. You're like, he's like getting misty-eyed, yeah. like killing people a bajillion years ago. <laughs> but I'm glad that they showed us that. I'm glad they went that route to give you the idea. And also making him human in the aspect that eh, clearly him and Mrs. Claus are having problems. Yeah. Because of his attitude. Like, he had the ring, but he'd be playing with it. And you could tell they weren't together. Yeah. And well, like, like at first I thought she might have been dead. Yeah. And, but then you get, like, then he's like, yeah, we're kind of, you know, things aren't so great. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah, because you're a bit of a dick now. And then she sends him skull crusher. <laughs> <laughs> With a note saying, I, I thought you might need this. <laughs> Can you imagine Rainier just coming home and be like, oh, he's up against terrorists. Get skull crusher. <laughs> but I, I love that that's her thought. She was mm-hmm. like, oh. Here you go. And he's just like, it is. like it's Christmas for him now. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. But those fight scenes with that, when he got that fucking hammer, holy shit. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, they oh, 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 that whole scene in the shed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, the fuck. The fucking snowblower and, like, the antlers on the wall. Like, he was everything, using everything around so him. so brutal. And just, like, spinning just the brutal. hammer around and, the, like. But the hammer work was just cool as yeah. fuck. And just, but like, oh, some of these hits though, you're just like, oh god, like yeah. it's just fucking cranking. Yeah. Ah. Mm. Oh, fight scenes were fucking great. Uh, perfect blend of serious, goofy, and brutal, mm-hmm. and heart, and heart. Definitely. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. It had everything. Like, if you have like a weak stomach, I wouldn't recommend it because when it gets gory, it gets gory. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's yeah. There's it's, it's there's full-on. enough in there that I'm like. I, wow. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Um, but fuck, it's just, it's a lot of fun. Like, it's a super fun movie. Mm -hmm. Um, honestly, like, in terms of the story, I have absolutely no complaints. There's not anything that I would have done differently. We said the story was very simple, and it it was 
perfect. Yeah. It was really perfect. And like, I keep saying like a mix of Die Hard 1 and 2 and, and Home Alone. And if anybody like will use that as like a negative, disregard them. Because even though like while we're watching it, we're literally like, oh, it's kind of like Die Hard. Mm -hmm. It's definitely like Die Hard 2. Mm -hmm. And you're calling plot points. It's just like I was saying in the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. This is just comfort food. We yeah. were calling shit. Yeah. And it wasn't like, and this is going to happen. And this is, we were like, I was like, oh my God, this is going to happen. And then it did. And I was like, oh God, this is awesome. Because like, yes, it's comfort food. And you want it to be like, you want it to feel good and be cuddly. Yeah. And, because you're comfortable with it. And that's the whole point of comfort food. But the thing that I liked was that even though I was calling the stuff, they were still doing it in a way that was cooler than I thought it would be. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, we were calling a lot. I was thrown off a couple times. A few things I, I called and, and they switched it around. I was like, well, oh. Well, like I said, I called that the, the sun would become the new Santa. Yes. I definitely called that. You called that. And then it didn't happen. And I, I agree with you, but then I was happy it never happened like mm -hmm. that. I was really happy it yeah. never happened like that. Yeah, because like they definitely made it look like Santa was going to yeah. die and that was it. Now, because with him alive, I want to see sequels and prequels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, yeah. Like, sequels, yeah. prequels, mm -hmm. video. When you said video games, like a God of War style video game, Everything. I was like, "Fuck everything!" Yes. But yeah, I'm like yeah. merchandise the shit out of this. Hundred percent. I I honestly I want to see like Nickamin the Red. Yeah. Like the last year of Nickamin of the Red yeah. leading up into, boom! Why he's now like what happened that he's Santa Claus? Yeah. And then the learning curve, like. I love the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. That's yeah. like one of my favorites. Uh, Santa Claus movies, uh, Christmas movies. That's one of my favorites. But having that twist, <laughs> right? Like, and obviously Mrs. Claus has got to be like she's got to be a little bit of a Viking wife, right? Because yeah. her first thought wasn't, well, you know, we'll go feel some cookies. And yeah, some that's milk. true. She's like, Maybe she's here's bad a fucking she's got like a sledgehammer. Fucking... The braids and the tattooed face exactly. and stuff. Like, like, <laughs> Not necessarily the tattooed face, just like, but definitely like, like braids and like, yeah. maybe you got like hints of tattoos and yeah, yeah. or something. Just like just, fucking and, jacked. And, yeah, like a little bit of a beefcake. Yeah. You're just like, holy fuck, man. Jesus Christ, Mrs. Claus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, then, and then, of course, she's just like, no, 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 we don't swear in my house. And you're yeah. like, sorry, sorry, I, I apologize. My bad. I'm really sorry. My bad. You know? But yeah, like... It's like immediately we both were like, I want to see everything. I want, I want see more. more. I want more. When it was I done, I was like, I want more. I definitely yeah. want a sequel. And I don't care. <laughs> it's yeah. literally like now we're ripping off other Halloween movies. Or, uh, Doesn't matter. Super, or Christmas movies. There it is. There it is. But like, fuck it. Though this is a little horror and is a little superhero as well. So you weren't really wrong. No, no. I wouldn't... Uh, not horror, but it is gory. It's gory. It's There's there's some fucking gross scenes. You ever see a John Leguizamo go up a chimney? <laughs> oh. That was... Old Faithful. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. Holy oh. shit, that was so gross. It was yeah. so gross. Oh, man. Um... But I also liked how casual he was to walk around and like other people's blood on him. <laughs> yeah, like it wasn't, yeah. like, and he didn't even like do this. No, he it was, was just like, like whatever in the beard and everything. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess I, a little bit of bad Santa because it is a hard like a booze in Santa Claus too. Yeah, you, you got that. Yeah, for sure. There's definitely. Oh well, strangely enough, bad Santa not on my Christmas list. No, me neither. I watched. And I never it, watched the second. I watched actually. Uh, no, I don't think I watched the second one. I watched trailers for it, and I was like, "No, nah, I'm good." Yeah, because I watched the first one, and I and I thought it was funny, mm -hmm. and it was like it was. It's fine. It's just, it was a one and done for me. Me too. You know, I had a laugh, but I never felt the need to ever revisit it. Yeah, in fact, actually, by the time it was done, I was just like, "Okay, so that was a movie." <laughs> <laughs> that is a movie right there. Yeah, that that was definitely a yeah. movie. And then what was uh, Tony something right the. The small black guy. He was in everything around that time. I love that you were gonna say midget and then you didn't, or you were. I, I think you were gonna say little person. Little person. Yeah. But that also black guy. So it's like, <laughs> how do I make this n not offensive to anyone? He was hilarious. <laughs> He's he hilarious. Was, I love him. Fucking hilarious. But he was in so much shit that time, and then just disappeared. Yeah, but I mean, he was in me myself and Irene. 
It was his kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, that was good. Oh, that fucking movie's funny. Yeah. I love when the dude, like, he's cooking the barbecue, and right? he's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, those kids' dicks are going to be bigger than these sausages. And you're like, what? The f why would you fucking say that to this guy? Like, <laughs> he knows they're not his. They're black. He's clearly <laughs> in huge fucking denial. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's no way at all the whitest motherfucker yeah. in the whitest area of the world gave birth to those fucking huge yeah. black things. Yeah, he raises them as his own. <laughs> and they call him daddy. <laughs> <laughs> that Chris Rock is a funny motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man, I, I gotta rewatch that movie, movie just so because much. that's what it's it's, such a good movie. That's one of my favorite oh, Jim Carrey movies. Fuck. Like, oh fuck, every time. Vegetal, you got a little extra cheese in <laughs> <of> the taco. <laughs> <laughs> or when she comes out with the dildo, and he's like, it's like, oh, well, I guess Hank wasn't enough for you. That wasn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> But that was a great actor. He went in the bathroom and took a piss, and his piss is going to the ceiling. He has sex boner piss. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like going back in there cleaning his ass. He's just tapping the water into it. <laughs> uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about Violet Night. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So, in terms of the visuals, yeah, 100%. <laughs> It's a fucking gory movie. Like, there's a lot of blood and a lot of guts in these movies. Yeah. But the fight scenes are fucking awesome. The one fight scene is shitty in this movie. They're all great. They do it in such a... Like, you believe that Santa could fight these guys. Yeah. But also, he could lose. I mean, he fucking... He actually has to stitch himself up at one point in the movie. So he bleeds... He gets shot up enough, he's going to die, because he does die in this movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, oh, geez. Surprisingly gory and brutal is what I got here. Oh, yeah. I didn't expect it to be that gory. I did, just because I know the director. Which makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you've seen Dead Snow, you're like, holy fuck. Well, when I, I saw yeah. the, uh, his cat, like his uh, movie list, I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Explains, a lot. Okay. explains a lot. Okay. All right. Uh, cast? Awesome. Whole cast but is fantastic. Leah Brady was standout for me. Leah Brady was a young girl. Yeah. She was incredible. She was so good. And so much of the heart of the movie came from her. Uh, right from the beginning of the like, movie. Just, like, you knew there was shit between her parents. Yeah. But you knew that, like, like she's just such a... Like, I love when she got the thing, the radio, yeah. and it was just a joke. Yeah. It was just something to keep her preoccupied. No, you can talk to Santa. You might not answer back because he's really busy. And mm -hmm. you're like, oh, that's mm -hmm. actually kind of clever. Yeah. And then she starts doing it, and then Santa answers back. Yeah, just because he has a bad guy's radio. Yeah, and she's like, how do, you, how do I know it's you? And he's like, well, you asked for this last year, and you asked for that last year. And, and yeah, she's like, Santa! Santa! You know? And, yeah. And I was just like, ah, oh, And then man. she's just, like, in the attic, like, helping him throughout the whole movie. <laughs> yeah, be like, home alone. Yeah. It's so And then she does good. it. And I was like, oh, this is going to be so dumb. Because you're like, home alone? I don't know what that is, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and actually pretty fucking yeah. good like yeah sure the the latter part you're like okay but yeah, the bowling yeah. balls yeah holy fuck genius but also jesus christ yeah oh that one chick got beat the fuck oh she falls backwards in that glue and then go and it, it rips her, rips her skull. scalp oh. Oh. <laughs> like you actually saw yeah. bits of skull yeah. oh that was rough <laughs> Oh, it was so rough. But yeah, I do. I It's cheesy as it is when he's holding the nail. You're like, yeah. never in my entire life have I yeah. ever held a nail like this. You, you never held a nail like, oh, oh you, look at you this know, nail. from this angle, the sharpness is this really sharp. ball into his yeah. skull. I was like, well, <laughs> I mean. Didn't see that one coming. You were basically asking yeah, for you that were. part. Yeah, you were. You really, really, you know. really were. My, actually, I will say the one, my only real major issue with the movie is they killed Richard. They killed Richard. And they killed him quick, too. Like, yeah. But as soon as I saw John yeah. walking up. Yeah. Doing the classic and I really movie. really Mr. Scrooge. The classic winter movie mm -hmm. where it's cold out. Yeah. They say it's cold out. And my car broke down. But the jacket is wide open. Yeah. Sure, mm -hmm. you have a, yeah. like a sweater underneath and it's zipped up. But I'm like, you're not Canadian. That's a classic one. Yeah. That is a classic. That one. is a classic. Same with the one I told you during the movie. Yeah. It's so funny how in like winter movies 
all the cars are always clean. <laughs> yeah. What did you say? I was like, always clean. I've never once thought yeah. of that. And now every yeah. time I'll be like, bullshit. I'm sorry, but as a northerner, <laughs> that pisses me off. Before I, I want a magical here. car that stays Before clean. I got here. Yeah. I had to brush off my car. There it is. <laughs> But that's soon as I was and like, he, and he never, like, I, went, I went nowhere and I still had to brush my car off. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> These fuckers are driving around the highway, mint clean. Yeah. Like, no, like, and it's not yeah. even like, like, it's brushed off or whatever. Because, no. like, when you brush your car off, depending on the weather, yeah. you're going to have chunks of snow on your car. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. These are, like you said, spotless. Yeah, like, just came out of a car wash <laughs> onto the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so like that's just fucking yeah, just fucking great. Uh, Beverly D'Angelo was a huge surprise for me. Oh yeah, that was great. But uh, cast was great. Like I said, if it wasn't for Leah Brady, uh, the heart wouldn't have been there. I'm glad that they went this route. Me too. Yeah. You know, I mean, another kid might have been able to pull through too. But well, I mean, but there's she plenty. Was just, she was so good, and she had great chemistry with David Harbour. Well, she had great chemistry with everyone. With everybody, but, but that one. That's that one the heart had to soul. work. That one that, had exactly, to work. Exactly. Because if like that never worked, it wasn't gonna that's work. That's fucking Reginald Bell Johnson yep. and Bruce Willis. If yes, that didn't work, exactly. it wouldn't the whole movie would have been sunk. Yeah. So it was awesome. Yep. I don't know why you didn't make that connection sooner. That's a very good connection. I did that connection when I was I watching went, the movie. It's, it's hilarious too, because you said Reginald, I went right to Family Matters. I was like, Steve Urkel? And you're like <laughs> Bruce Willis. I'm like, oh yeah, die hard. We're doing die hard. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Reginald Bell Johnson. Yes. Is the actor. I know. Okay. I know who he is. He routinely plays police officers. Almost like. Although. Every time. <laughs> although. Um, there is like the. Uh, you know. Character. They're all the same character type theory. Yeah. In that. The reason why he moved to Chicago. Was because of all the shit that happened at Nakatomi Towers. Yeah. yeah. So he moved. He, so yeah. He's back to being a beat cop. Yeah. But he had to get the fuck away from that city. <laughs> He had to go all the way to Chicago, where the crime isn't as bad. You're like, yeah, it's Chicago. Uh, <laughs> it's, the crime is so bad that you lost... You're in the right space, just just like the wrong spot at the wrong time. One of your nieces just stopped showing up at the house, and nobody ever talked about it again. Yeah. <laughs> no one ever once said, hey, like your sister... Yeah. You didn't say to your sister, hey, like, what happened to your daughter, yeah. my niece? No, 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 so, no. no. Just, Quietly wrote her out. And yep. Never and again. That was it. <laughs> she didn't even come back for the season she didn't finale. Exist. Or series finale, I should say. Yep. Uh, direction. Do oh. <laughs> I love this guy, though. Like, <laughs> like, he's one of those guys that no one really knows about. But I'm telling you, man, watch that Hansel Gretel because it is fucking I'm good. Going, I'm going. It is so fucking fun and it's practical. Like, the That's monsters the one are with Jeremy Renner and. Yeah, and, and uh, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've yeah. actually and always. And Jansen's so bad with I've always wanted to watch that because it looked like it, it, it looked like fun, but the only problem was it it, uh, it came out fairly. For some reason, I'm. I'm Brothers Grimm. I had Brothers Grimm vibes from the pr trailers for this oh, movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I did not like Brothers Grimm. I did though, not like Brothers Grimm either. Even though I liked the cast. Yeah. Cast is great. But it should have been great. It should have been. Ezra and Matt Damon. Like, that should have been. It should have been, but it wasn't. Fantastic. But Brothers no, Hansel Grimm. Grell, so fun. Yeah. Such a fun flick. Um, and then, yeah, the Dead Snow movies. Fuck. You want to watch a good zombie movie? Watch those. And, like, and, that's like, what those are. and whatever happened in Monday, I totally forgot that was him too. It's called Seven Sisters in in Canada. Okay, amazing film. I haven't seen it. Amazing. Film. That's the one with uh, Willem Dafoe, right? Mm, yeah, and uh, it's a sci-fi. And, and no me you ever appeared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, when I saw that on the list. I was like, that sounds pretty bonkers it's, too. It's so, fucking good. I, so I'll be like playing it's some good. catch up with this guy. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, no, I have no complaints. No complaints at all. No complaints. Even. Like and it's funny too, and I was thinking about it just now. Even if they removed the Viking aspect, mm -hmm. I still would have thought this movie was awesome. Oh, I was saying, but but I'm infinitely. That was a fucking delicious cherry on the top of that Sunday. Yes, because holy yes. shit! And you knew something was coming up when you saw the tattoos. You're like, what the fuck is going on? Well, and that's what I mean. And then you start seeing like those little flashes when he's almost unconscious, and then and then, and then he goes into the whole story of it all. And you're just like. Fuck! This guy was a psycho Viking that killed people with hammers. Yeah, and he doesn't like speak about it. Like, no, like, he's not like. Eh, you know, that's yeah. kind of a, he was like, no, 
I was... Skull Crusher. The adventures we had together. Yeah, everything. The heads we crushed. I, it was all <laughs> glorious. Like, he's yeah. not reminiscing. He, no, no, he's reminiscing. He's like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, those are the good old days. Right. right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. You know, but, like, so, even, like... Even if they didn't have him tattooed up, yeah. they had n they strip all the Viking aspects of it. I would still be like, "This is fucking right. This mm -hmm. is on my list of Christmas movies. Yeah. I can't wait." But the fact that they added that in and just like a teaser, yeah, tattoos, a couple of flashbacks, and now you and I both are just like, "I want it all." Yeah. Oh, same. <laughs> I want it all. Same. Like Jesus. I just want more. I want more, more, more. Yeah. And I got to touch on something with visuals quickly too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Fighting with the sack was awesome. Holy shit. How, like, it goes on forever. Yeah. So the shit that he was able to do with it, and, like... But even the shit, like, in the... And, like, John Lincoln was like, that's not really Santa, and he just... The guys just keep pulling shit out yeah. of the bag. He's just like... And it's just what present after fuck? present after present. I was like, oh, fuck, this is awesome. Yeah. It was, like, oh, Very man. cool. And that's why I was getting to, like, uh, they do just enough magic. Yeah. But not enough where you're just like... Well, of course he's going to win, mm -hmm. right? I mean, fuck, he couldn't get up the... Uh... <laughs> I love it. Like, I was like, stop doing cocaine, and maybe you'll be able yeah. to use your magic to get up the, the chimneys. <laughs> but when it did work... Oh. That's oh. awesome. It's raining, awesome. John. <laughs> Hallelujah, it's, it's raining, rain and John. <laughs> I just got Scrooged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh man! Yeah, I don't know how if they. I hope they do a sequel. I don't know how they'll do a sequel, but I don't even care. I mean, the premise could be exactly I mean, the same. It, well, it worked for Die Hard for a bunch of movies. <laughs> Why can't it work for Santa? <laughs> you know, like another house, another Christmas, another fucking terrorist. Well, look, it worked group. for Home Alone. Yeah, the premise for Home Alone is the mm -hmm. same thing. Yeah. it's just bigger. Yeah. I do it, baby. It's Santa in Nakatomi Towers. Oh, oh. Jake Peralta would have a heart attack. That would be amazing. With a boner. That would be amazing. Or they get Macaulay Culkin. Oh fuck, man! Oh. And he knows nothing about Home Alone. Exactly. And Macaulay Culkin's like, you never seen Home Alone? Like, I'm from Home Alone. I don't fucking know what that is. Yeah, you know, people say that to yeah. me, and I. Yeah, there's this little girl, and I know. Yeah. Knows about Home Alone. Uh, <laughs> She killed the guy with a nail. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't have yeah. any complaints at all. And I, like I like I said, I, I want more. <laughs> I just want all more. Enough. That's all. And because this isn't on Disney Plus, I will be buying the physical yeah. copy when I can't it comes wait. out. I can't wait. In fact, probably like first week of January, maybe yeah. second week of yeah. January. Like Christmas I'll is gone. Go. I'm like Christmas is never gone. Ooh. You got Violent Night. Yeah. Yeah. But that's that's like, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to actually physically have it. Especially because then I'll get to see like behind the scenes. Yeah, I want to see all that too. Maybe there'll be a Viking featurette. Maybe we'll talk about other Maybe there'll ideas. be a comic book about Nick and Min Lorette. See, that too. Comic like, book. Oh, man. Man, Tommy like Ricola. Just... Like, god damn. Uh, fuck. I literally, I, I've got games, cartoons, toys, merchandise the shit out of this. Everything. Fuck. Everything. Oh. I can't, like, man. I honestly. That was a wonderful treat. It was. I'm really happy that movie got made and came out, and I got the and in the theater, theater of my eyeballs. Exactly, like in the theater to have the theater experience. Yep, it was so good. It what, what was it? It was already like it was an ABX. It mm -hmm. bumped Black Panther. It bumped Black Panther forever. I know that blew me away too. You're like, oh, we're in the ABX. I was like, what? I thought we'd be on one of these <laughs> shitty screens on this side. <laughs> Never mind. The fucking person that took our tickets was yeah. like, oh, you just got to go to your left. And, yeah. And we were like, yeah. Yeah, number we, one that way. Well, we, 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 were, we were like, like well, she's like, yeah, you just got to go to your left. And we, both of us were like, yeah, we, we know where to go. We, we and we go to the left, and then I'm just like, wait a minute. We're in, like, ticket, like, we're in 11. Yeah. That it says ABX. And then, then that's what we're I was on the wrong side of the Yeah, theater. EBX. We're yeah. all the case. Okay, so we go over there, and then we're just like, it got, it fucking bumped Black Panther or mm -hmm. Wakanda forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. It's so good. I wish I had unlimited time and money so I could just watch so many of these movies over and over again. <laughs> like, I'd be like, Fire by the Night, round four. Let's <laughs> yeah. do it. I'm going to watch this every week until Christmas comes. That was my, 
that's probably my favorite part about the whole movie is that when we finished watching it, yeah. I walked out thinking, like, I immediately want to watch it again. Like, immediately. Right now, I want to watch it again. And not even just, like, I want to watch it again. Like, I want more of everything. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, so Fuck. I mean, fuck. If the only other movie we get is a prequel, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll fucking take it. I'll take anything. But uh, I'll take a 60-minute a anime. <laughs> oh. Give it to me. Ah, oh, man. I'm yeah. over that shit. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> I don't. I mean, I'm not saying that like it's a bad thing. Like I want, no. it. I want it all. No, exactly. Oh, Even fuck. if the video game was like a fucking mobile game or some shit, like I don't care. I would play it and then I would probably delete it. Me too. <laughs> but I, if they were like it's two ninety nine, I'm like I'm gonna pay for it just to show them I'm willing to yeah, buy. I, you know what? Exactly. Anything for this sadly, fucking I would movie. do it too. Yeah. And then like yeah. two minutes in, I'd be like, and eh, delete. <laughs> that was a waste of three bucks. God damn, this was garbage. Yeah, that was especially because horrible. like I hate it when they do it where you have like the virtual keyboard. Oh yeah, or a controller. I should yeah, the say. fucking analog stick that's on the screen. I'm like, this does not work right. And you have to, and you're like doing this, like yeah. dragging your thumb all over it. But then you're trying to remember the buttons, right? and you're just like, and you're like, am I moving it? I can't tell because my thumb's covering the screen. But right then now. when I touch a controller, yeah, it doesn't matter what controller it is. I can, I can feel pretty it. much go. These are the controls. Yeah, <clears> this <throat> is it. This is it. So, ladies and gentlemen. That's uh, another entry in mm -hmm, our mm -hmm. massive catalog of Geek Pants uh, clips and movies. And what do we call them? Christmas cast. Christmas cast. Okay. Uh, it doesn't roll off the tongue as uh, much. Christmas cast? No. No, no. <laughs> <clears throat> Geek Pants Xmas. Yes. We've had a lot of great Christmas movies we've talked about, but I feel like this is like one of my favorite years this this is one of my favorite these years. two movies that last year was a year. good year for us too i love last year did, was like, a good year like we did krampus and we did uh, uh special delivery rare exports that's that's one yeah, yeah we did one. rare exports was that last year or was that the year prior no that was a year prior. Say that's the year prior because last year i think we just did april christmas that's right we did do april yeah. christmas yeah so the year prior was was that yeah, the year prior see the year prior i thought was awesome april christmas was the year prior to that was Gremlins and Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, yeah that was a good yeah, year. Too. That was a good one too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah that was good. And also, you got to go watch all of them because they're they're here. Yeah, you have to watch them all. But also, more importantly, too, what I'd like, uh, I dare you, I dare you, to comment down below your favorite Christmas movie, and I don't care what it is. I will watch it, and then I will tell you if I agree that it is a great Christmas movie. No mm -hmm. parameters. It just mm -hmm. has to be. Christmas movie. Mm -hmm. That's it. Christmas and you'll be action, like, your opinion means Christmas nothing. Horror, Christmas, uh, you know, foreign, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think anyone will, but that's the dare. I challenge you so that I can tell you that that movie is awesome. So if thank they, you. If they do the dare, if they, and you, so the prize is you just respond to them? That is the prize. That's a good prize. Yep. I will respond to anyone who puts yeah. a comment in our thing. Unless it's somebody who says, oh, you won a prize. Yeah. Oh, man, we're getting a lot of garbage late. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's Bot Central, right? Yeah, it's like Twitter, Bot Central. Twitter is um, it's, it's a bot fire now. Yeah. Because the new boss... Doesn't give a fuck. No, it's not that he doesn't give a fuck. He's, his head is so far up his own ass, he doesn't realize. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Mm -hmm. He's so arrogant that he can't tell... And nobody around him. Like, yeah. If someone said, hey man, this is dumb, they'd be fired. So what the fuck? Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to get too much into that. I actually don't want to talk about that person because uh, that's more people talking about that person. Right. I hope that if we just stop talking about this person, mm -hmm. that eventually this person will go away. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Fade back into obscurity, like from whence he came. Back to the diamond mines. Oh, yeah. that's a tough one. Eh? Oh. Self made. So no, please. no, fuck really. Yeah, no, no, no. But anyway, guys, once again, thank you so much for joining us on another holiday themed Geek Pants Camcast. Yeah. We will have a even better one next year. And we'll try and top ourselves. We wish you nothing but the best of the holiday seasons. Mm -hmm. Whatever that you celebrate, whether it's Kwanzaa, whether it's Christmas, whether it's um Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Whatever version, we want you to have the best version. We want yeah. you to have the safest version. And even if you don't celebrate, just have a really good week. Yeah. 
Just have a really good week. Just well, go buy yourself. Treat yourself. That's right. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. You treat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, so our uh, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. The what like our male lady, yeah, our male person mm. lives three houses from us. Oh, so every year we get her a liquor store gift card, right? Nice. This year I picked out the card, and you know what it said. Treat your elf. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I went like this. <laughs> Treat your elf. I'm, I'm fucking I'm in superstore holding this card going like this. Like, <laughs> it says, Treat your elf. <laughs> and people are looking at me because I'm doing it. Like, it says, Treat your elf. And I'm like, I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely. Nobody gets it. So definitely losing. buying this motherfucker. Yeah. So, yeah, so anyway, but yes, treat yourself, be kind to yourself, be kind mm -hmm. to others, mm -hmm. and uh, more importantly, keep watching Geek Pants. Always keep watching Geek Pants. Always. But always, 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 always. Uh, whatever you do, you either watch us on YouTube, you watch us on Twitter, you watch us on Instagram, you watch us on Facebook, and you watch us, well, you kind of see us on uh, geekpantsmedia.com, okay? Or, better yet, if you don't want to see our fucking faces... Which you should, but sometimes you might need a break. True, true. And if you want to just hear our voices, you mm -hmm. can hear us on Audible, you can hear us on Spotify, you can hear us on SoundCloud, you can hear us on Apple and Google Podcast, and uh, you could hear us. Did I catch it all? I think I'm missing one. Apple, yeah, well, sound. You know, you got them all. Hey, I got it! Got it's all. a Christmas yeah, miracle! Oh, yeah. man! The weather outside is weather. <laughs> <laughs> Happy ho ho, everyone! Happy ho holidays! Ho 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 That's ho actually, that days. Bad. That was bad. That was, that was bad. bad. All all jokes aside, we love you. Keep on rocking in the free world, and do 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 do. Thank you. You did it in one cut. That was awesome. Like that? Ah, That's my it. gift to you, my friend. Man, it is. Yeah. It is Christmas. It is Christmas. It is Christmas. Oh, oh, oh.